the Graham Vault. The Graham Vault here rested for 114 years the remains of Major General Nathaniel Green, born in Rhode Island, August 7, 1742, died at Mulberry Grove, Georgia, 1786. This is who's, he's under the monument in Johnson Square. Him and his, his son, his eldest son. They couldn't tell one from the other, so they had to bury both of them under the monument. Oh, look at this. Can't read it. This is a really interesting cemetery. I love looking at all these stones and everything, but, and there's a lot of vaults out here, a lot of vaults. Now, I have not ever taken a tour. I think this would be a great cemetery to take a tour and it would probably tell you a lot more because just to walk out here and not know, which is what I've done right now, I don't know where all the famous people are buried and which stones are the ones to really look at. Just walking through, it's really hard to make out anything because they are so aged you can't read them there's you can't see that anymore you can p make out bits and pieces there's a willow tree and that's a mason the compass and the square that's it that was a mason but um what I did pick up and learn was that when Sherman came through Savannah they surrendered pretty quick so he didn't burn the city but he saw this fenced in cemetery, cause it was here then, Colonial Cemetery. And he thought, oh, this is a great place to put the Calvary. So the horses were out here. So I know that. And then I was told that some of those soldiers were bored and they would take their bayonets or swords or what have you and scratch out and change some of these dates. So you had dates on some of these headstones changed so that it was, the person would have uh, died before their child did and you know before their child was born is what I'm saying or they lived to be this crazy like 1400 years old or 1700 years old things like that so I'm not sure where those stones are I would love to to know which ones that that was done to so I could see them but I'm not really sure which ones but it is a it's a beautiful cemetery right here in the city in the heart it's worth a stop now this is easy to read. Just needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but yeah. I like when they tell where they lived, you know, and I like, I love when they give it right down to their, the months and the days that they lived. Okay, you guys know I have to come over here and look at this table grave. I don't know who this is. It's held up well. That one's cracked. Look at all these. seven years oh uh, and there's the other year that was another year 18 19 18 20 when they had these outbreaks oh looks like one year three months Okay. 
There's a lot of these tombs out here in Colonial Cemetery in Savannah. This is the Owen Foley's family vault, 1849. John Foley. And I can't read something else, Foley. And Brian Foley, 1849, aged 55 years. It's Santini's family vault, 1849 as well, right beside each other. A lot of the stones out here are very hard to read. Naturally, they deteriorated over time. family tomb, Denny Porter, seven, 1847. Something interesting is this walkway. This is Tabby, which was created with oyster shells and sand. It made like a concrete surface. They used this to build some of their mansions and houses in Savannah with, and it is fireproof. Of course, it doesn't matter out here like this, but it's very important when building a big house. They put this around it to hold it up, to, re to support it. This is um, chipped off. See the different layers? Okay, look. The cherub winged. Here lies uh, interned body of. Looks like. I can't see if that says doctor. Samuel Vickers, who departed this life October. The 13th, 1785. And it looks like 30, because it's three X's. So the 30th year of his life. This is neat. Okay, I kind of did this backwards. I'm going out the entrance, but I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see the, the front, the real front entrance. The sun's really bright today. Savannah chapter, Daughters of the American Revolution, in memory of Patriots of War, American Revolution. Colonial Park. Yeah, I really did this backwards. But, very cool. I love all the Spanish moss hanging off the trees. Isn't that beautiful? But you see how the traffic is? The, the streets are right here, very, very busy, noisy. I'm sure when they built this cemetery, it wasn't like that. We're gonna go over this way. Slip past this tree. This is one you can read. Israel's Hilda, wife of Mr. Levi Heels, a native of Goshen. What's C O N? Does anybody know? Goshen died April 15th, 1820, aged 25 years. So 1820, I don't know if this is this person's case, but 1820, they had, I want to say, a yellow fever epidemic or malaria or something. 
that broke out and I wonder if she was so young I wonder if that was her cause of death Savannah got hit let's see 1819 was a financial collapse and then I think 1820 they had the outbreak so it wasn't good years during those times Elbert above ground vault it's really long this was a general brigadier brigadier general colonial army so he died in 1788 so this part is very old and we're gonna walk over and look now that I'm in this part I see a lot more I can read that's a beautiful stone over there okay so we got the cross through the crown Mary Bolton Continental Army hard to read that it gets a little better near the bottom also to the memory that must have been inscribed later I love how they give all this whole huge biography of what he did and then and his wife <laughs> yeah she's here too okay I'm gonna get out of here it's hot